Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I tried this new online service called Call on Doc. D O C, Call on Doc. And I looked them up online, Better Business Bureau, everything seems legit. As far as I know, as of right now, everything is legit. But uh, my ear, uh, I haven't heard out of my left ear in 24 hours. So whatever I'm doing, all these treatments are, are not working. So I looked online for help. What, what really scared me was my friend Lisa had said... Um, you know, Bill tried to deal with it with over-the-counter stuff and his eardrum burst. Bill's Lisa's husband. And, uh, yeah, I don't want my eardrum to burst. So I went, um, looked online, call on Doc. I know calling the local clinic here, it would be a, you know, two-week wait. And I think it's 80 bucks just to walk in the place and wait and deal with people you swear don't know anything about medicine and uh yeah i mean I, I i went to the clinic here for five years and when i went into the hospital the first doctor put a stethoscope on me and said you have a heart murmur they never said anything about a heart murmur any dubers this uh online service and maybe you guys have used this. I, I've never tried anything medical online. And I always see ads, you know, for uh, Viagra. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't order Viagra. That's not an issue yet. Um, my uh, ear has been really bothering me. So it's not agony, but the fact that it's been clogged that long. Years ago, I used to get ear infections pretty frequently this is the first time in i want to say five six years that i've gotten one usually it has to come with uh when i go swimming in the pool or uh out in the water here and i've been super careful not to put my head underwater because i know i get an ear infection um i don't even think it's anything water related but um you go online uh, call on doc. They ask you basic questions. You know, what's your ailment, medical history, some personal information. Uh, they ask about any surgeries you've had, which just as if you were going to a new doctor. The whole process probably took less than 10 minutes. And I was done by 2 p.m., and it says within one or two hours, we will call in a prescription to your local pharmacy. And they even, they tell you to enter your zip code and they knew all the pharmacies in this area. And um, I uh, chose uh, HEB Pharmacy here in Rockport. And I haven't gotten anything from there in a long time. I just, I, I, I get a prescription once a month. I drive to Portland, but I, I just, uh, driving around and not hearing out of one ear. I, I don't know. It's just too many tourists, too many kids. I, I don't want to, I don't want to kill someone. And I definitely don't want to dent the love shack any more than she is. She is already dented, but, um, I received follow-up emails from them. Yeah. Yes. We received your information. A medical professional is looking at it now. Um, we will contact you if any further information is needed, one to two hours. And the first thing I did was check my uh, bank account online and make sure I had, uh, they only took out, the, the price they charge is $39.99. So uh, I, I made sure they only took out that amount. And... Um, even if I got an appointment at the clinic, 80 bucks is a lot of money right now. So for half of that and a whole lot less aggravation, I, um, 
yeah, call on Doc. Right now, I'm happy with it. I'll do a, a follow-up video and let you guys know if that's a good service or not. And I would imagine since the pandemic, a lot of people have done online medical uh, consultations of some sort. I've certainly tried to uh, avoid going to the doctors. Uh, the last time I, you know, once a year I go to my doctor, get blood work, everything's okay right here at the clinic. Of course, they say everything's okay and they didn't know I had a heart murmur. So uh, all my blood comes back good, which always surprises me. And um, I'll let you know, I'm going to, I'm hoping within two hours, I can go over to the drugstore here around 4 p.m. and pick up an antibiotic because, you know, your eyes, your ears, you, you don't want to mess with that. And it's just, it's just uh, annoying. You know, someone is yelling on my left and I only hear it out this year. So I think it's coming from that direction. And uh, the last four or five days that I've been griping about this, I've been able to blow my nose and my ear pops and it, uh, you know, I can hear. But yes, yeah, since I went to sleep last night, it's been closed and it was, it was really bothering me when I went out to uh, dinner with my friend Joe. So if uh, you've never tried those services, uh, check out the next video and I'll let you know what happened. I also wanted to, uh, this morning, um, let you know we're right now going to take a drive around town. I'm sorry, my thoughts are all jumbled. And then uh, come back to the beach here and check out a sunset. Yeah, that sounds like a good day. I don't know what I was thinking. I almost left out the most important part. When my wife told me to stop impersonating a flamingo... I had to put my foot down. <laughs> Just kind of doing a little scouting. Red fence patio, beer and wine. And it's a giveaway because it's got a red fence. So that was aptly named. <laughs> this is where uh, our friend Wayne L. White is doing a book signing. This Saturday... 2 to 4, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And I would imagine it's inside somewhere. And that is right where the Alyssa Baker Art Gallery is. Local, original, decorative, and functional art. And they do have beautiful art here on the red fence and I think there's an indoor area I'm not positive to tell you the truth there's the patio on the left there and we're on Austin Street downtown Rockport Texas right to the left of the coastal mercantile we've done a video from in there before new beginnings your favorite store bet you didn't know that did you Mason, which I believe is an art gallery. Let's pull over, guys. Let the car behind me go. Okay, there's Mason again. Songbird Chic. Mermaid Ranch. Rockport Living. And then down at the end of the street here, directly across from the Rock Bottom Pub. A little barber shop that I don't believe is open anymore. And then over there is Water Street. Someone had asked me just yesterday about the pier at the end of Market Street. And this is it. Free. It's a nice L-shaped stone and concrete pier. Handicap accessible. Parking. And there's parking behind us on the way out as well. And it goes out pretty far. Provides a nice little harbor. 
and occasionally I'll spot some dolphins in here. Definitely worth checking out if you're a fisherman. Just here in my office area. I'm going to hang out a little bit just to see if we do get a sunset today. If we do, I'll be including it in the video. Thanks for riding along. Thanks for watching.